What's up, guys? D Rock here. Uh, I just got back from Chicago, where I got to give three master classes on Reason Nine uh, at uh, IMSTA at, at the SAE Institute up there. Uh, it was super fun. But if you couldn't make it, uh, here's a recap video on everything that I went over during those. So, um, one of the main things I wanted to, to really cover were all the new features, especially the players, because the players are really, really sweet. Um, like, uh, well, between all the new features, I, li I like to think of them in kind of, in of two ways. Ways, stuff to help you write music and stuff that's going to help perfect everything. So the players are going to help you write music and be able to get your creative ideas out quickly. So first one is probably one of my favorites, uh, Scales and Chords. Uh, you play a single note and it gives you a full chord based off your designated key and scale. Uh, for this one we're going to do C minor. Uh, you can change how many notes you have in here. So each time it goes up a third and just adds another third. Up, up to uh, ninths. You've also got inversions of the chords. Uh, one of my personal favorite things about this is having open chords. So it's gonna spread that out. Um, that way, you know, like not like so that all your notes aren't really bunched up together. Then you can add octaves, ups, downs, and then add color, which is a ninth that that uh, they throw in there. So for this, we're gonna add an octave down. And uh, let's see here. Let's just get a little chord progression in here. All right, there we go. Yeah. All right. And with this, with this patch specifically, I like having the velocity down around like between like sixty and seventy. It just gives it a kind of softer tone. But all right. Uh, let's see here. It's got a really sweet feature that's called Send to Track. See, it's up here in the corner. Uh, it's very similar to like the Redrum um, uh, Copy Pattern to, to Track. So you see, you hit this. It's going to write out your, your chords as full chords right, rather than the single notes. It also, by, it, it also bypasses the, uh, the uh, player. Here, that way you don't get a full you, you know you don't get four different chords out of each one of those notes so, it's, uh, so that is the scales and chords um, next one I want to go over is the dual arpeggio um, just in case you didn't know um, the scales or the uh, players um, they almost act as like it. It, it kind of acts as if um, it's in between your instruments in your MIDI keyboard or your MIDI clip within the timeline. So it modifies the incoming MIDI note, um, which is kind of different than like an audio effect because, as, as you see, it goes above the the actual instrument versus beneath it, as as like an audio effect would do. All right, so let's grab a uh, dual arp. As you can see, it's kind of self-explanatory. It's um, you know, it's two arpeggios, but you have a lot of really cool features within it. Like uh, one thing, you can control it by how many steps. You can input a specific pattern. Then, like, let's just uh, do something in here. You can have a control velocity throughout it if you want some stuff to be quieter or louder. I don't think this patch does anything velocity-wise. Uh, but then you also get a second one in here. You you can add in. Personally, I like to transpose the second one down like like an octave. Do it maybe like slow it down halfway, so it's almost doing like a bass line on, underneath it. And for this, let's just drag these same chords down. So we're starting to build up something you know fairly fairly quickly here. Uh, let's see, there's one more player that I want to touch on, which is, or the last player, I should say, uh, which is a uh, Note Echo. Yeah, I'd say Note Echo is probably the simplest out of all the players, because uh, it literally just echoes the, the um, incoming MIDI note. So I can press one note, it does that. You can have velocity either like fade out or uh, ramp up, as well as pitch. To get some like really odd kind of things that you wouldn't necessarily think of, of on on your own. Uh, you can adjust 
the uh, the speed of the repeats, how many repeats are gonna happen. Uh, I'm just gonna create a little pattern here. And you can obviously make your own exact pattern. So another thing though, that's, re that's really kind of cool, is that you're able to stack these two players together. So let's get this in key with the other one. And you got that. You can also, I, mean, I also want to mention that uh, these uh, players, they're for the most part, I believe, fully automatable. Well, so like, uh, let's take these original notes, throw them down here. And then on the second half, we're gonna add an octave down. One thing that's a little bit odd that I'm still figuring out is that if you stop it right at like the start of a note, it's still gonna play all those all, all those note echoes in there. There. Um, but yeah, whatever. Uh, it's really really cool. It helps you create music quicker. So now the other side of um, um, of some of the new updates are, are being able to uh, f to really be able to refine your sound. And so the players are more for like the creative get you know just get your stuff out there wicked quickly make it sound good good and then you can modify it more more in depth later either uh stuff like the pitch edit is, really is more along the lines of per perfecting so is more of like perfecting your sound so i went over this a little bit in another tutorial um so i don't want to spend too much time on this during this one i just want to get her sounding decent for this Right here, so we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Let's do EQ on high pass filter. We'll chop some of that out. E mode. Feeling ten feet tall. We'll go with how that sounds. Let's get a compressor. We'll use the onboard SSL compressor. Um, uh, bump the ratio up at least a little bit, and that should probably be good. Now, actually, uh, while I was in Chicago, um, uh, what I decided to do was uh, I was waiting at a at a U Union uh, at Union Station for my train, and uh, I don't, if you've never been there, there's this huge hall there uh, called uh, I think it's just called the Great Hall or the Grand Hall or something like that. And so uh, I grabbed um, uh, the propeller app Take Take, which actually is kind of cool. It's a um, it's an iOS app app it, it, that just does three track recording, but it's it it actually strips away. All the processing that's on the uh, that's on your iPhone's microphone. That way you can that way you end up with like a pretty decent sounding uh, condenser mic. So I've got so I so I, I I just ended up clapping, being in there. Um, so we're gonna throw that on our vocal. Let's... Got my face turned up real high. All right. So now um, I'm 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 gonna create that same harmony that I did within within the other within that other uh, t tutorial that I did on uh, the pitch edit. There we go. So my faith turned up real high. So now uh, we need to create like a little a little intro for this. So one thing that's really awesome, as you can see, we've got these. You know, it, it kind of maps it out into into like MIDI notes. Uh, you can drag that directly to a MIDI track, and it's going to play that melody. So let's grab a classic reason sound, uh, Gangster Lead Three for the Thor. So it's able to copy it right down, and it also follows the velocity CD, or like, or like for I, I think it translates it from um, if she's if she's singing loudly, then it's going to be higher velocity, softer, lower velocity, stuff like that. Uh, another really sweet um, new feature is uh, the reverse MIDI, and the, and the re reverse MIDI works for both MIDI, MIDI notes as well as automation. So uh, this is a, a little trick that I've been doing recently: is um, take a chord progression, reverse that. Then bounce in place, once again, another brand new feature, and then reverse that back around. That way you get the actual, uh, your actual chord progression playing in reverse, 
That way you can get that kind of like swooping effect. So uh, yeah, uh, the, that's the majority of the new features within uh, Reason 9. Obviously we've got the 1,000 new sounds, which is really, really sweet. Uh, I showed off a few of my favorites within here. Um, but uh, yeah, it, yeah, like uh, I, I'm in love with all the new updates. I'm having a, a lot of fun playing around with them. Um, actually, uh, when, when I was kind of de designing how, how I was going to do the class, uh, I realized at the end uh, we actually only imported uh, four notes, which were those four original notes right here. Otherwise, everything else was is, is kind of generated for you. You to create a lot of variety within your songs. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, drop me a comment or shoot me a message. Otherwise, I will catch you next time.